Na serikali imeimizwa kuhakikisha masomo ya teknolojia na sayansi, uhandisi na hisabati yanafunzwa katika shule maalum za watoto walio na ulemavu wa saa wale walio na ulemavu wa kusikia ili kuhakikisha unajumuishwa kikamilifu katika sekta ya elimu. Mwenyekiti wa chama cha watoto walio na ulemavu wa kusikia Francis Nyanga amesema watoto hao wamekuwa kipuuzwa kielimu nchini jambo linaloanyima fursa ya kushindana ipasavyo na wenzao katika nyanja mbalimbali. Mkutano wa bara la Afrika kuhusu ulemavu wa kusikia ambao umepangwa kuandaliwa jijini Nairobi kuanzia tarehe 27 hadi 29 utahudhuriwa na wajumbe kutoka nchi 18 watakaojadiliana na kutafuta suluhu kwa changamoto zinazowakabili watoto walio na ulemavu huo. One area that we need to develop is scientific area. The STEM subjects. That is why this conference is very important. We are coming to talk about research and we need evidence based to make policies. As a society we are committed to moving it further and uh, find out what problems are there in other countries in Africa so that we can bring our people together and see what we can do to harmonize even the Kenya sign language with all other African countries so that as a continent we can talk in one language. We're working very hard to ensure that we return and reinstate the disability mainstreaming indicator in the performance contracts of all ministries, departments and, agents, and agencies. Because we so I'm also calling upon for a specific allocation for those who are deaf so that it is able to meet the needs of the deaf specifically. <laughs> I can see you are compliant. This, this is the color of the ruling party.